G'day everyone, Chris from LN Design here. I'm here today to introduce you to the latest version of the LNLOD's calculator plugin for Blender, version 2.5. It features an almost one-to-one -one scale precision in vertex count due to a reworked algorithm which emulates the Asobo Multi-Exporter Kronos GLTF triangulation pipeline, allowing a very precise vertex count and offering an almost immediate errorless experience in response. Let's start by installing the plugin. Head to this website you can find the link in the description and go into the Tools for Developers page from the top menu. From there, download the latest version of the LNLOD's calculator using the link under the description. I will show how but then abort the download since I have the latest version already downloaded in my PC. Now let's get to work. Open up Blender first. As you can see, no LNLODs tab appears in the end menu in the 3D view. So let's go to Edit Preferences Add-ons and choose Install from the top right corner. Locate your plugins package and press Install Add-on. Now, from the left checkbox, enable it and an Open Read Me button will appear. Open it and give it a quick read for the basic how-to, suggestions, and to see the change log from version to version. Now we can close the Preferences window and focus on preparing the scene for the plugin to work correctly. Notice how I already prepared a scene with two objects with two LODs each. The interface is simple and intuitive, but for now we'll focus on how to prepare the Asobo Multi Exporter to correctly interact with the LNLODs plugin. Open up your Asobo Multi Exporter, and if you haven't done it already, make sure to enable the Grouped by Collections checkbox and to set up the export data already like what LODs to export, the folder to export them to, whether to generate the XML or not. And don't forget to double check the names of your exported files in the file name text box. Now, let's switch back to the LNLODS plugin and clear data, if any. Then let's click on calculate LOD sizes. Then let's press set LODs values in a Sobo exporter and watch the magic happen. Now, since the actual model is very low poly, it will have a very low screen space need, so I'm going to exaggerate the margin value to show what it actually does. As you can see, the new values in the exporter have changed after I set the margin and send the data to the exporter again, this time considering an increase of the screen size based on the percentage we have set previously. Now let's check a second time if we've done everything correctly before proceeding with the export. Now let's press Export and navigate to our Export folder. And voila, we have our nice files with the LOD's value autonomously calculated by the plugin. We reduced the amount of trial and error to almost zero with a simple tool. It's time to copy our models folder to our add-ons modelib folder and to check the results straight into the simulator. Let's fire up the sim now. Go into the world map and navigate to your project's location if it's a scenery you're working on. I'm just gonna pick a random airport for my project, as it's only my test add-on I use for new models or tools. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the building process. Just bear in mind, for your new objects to appear in the sim, you have to compile or build, depending on your linguistic taste, your project, either via command line or dragging your XML onto the Packager tool in the root of your add-on staging folder. Now that we're in the sim, we can spawn in our own models and see how it turned out. Let's 
Let's first enable the LOD debug window. Let's now enable the checkbox LOD limits vertices to compare the amount of vertices of our model compared to the maximum allowed by the screen size of our object at any given time. As you can see here, the results are consistent between plugin and simulator. There might be some margin on more complex models, but so far it is minimal. And that's what the screen space margin percentage functionality in the plugin is for. Eh, <laughs> right? Now let's check the second LOD. As we can see, the second LOD of the smooth spheres out of vertices count at one point and might disappear on Xbox or on MSFS 2024. This happens for a few reasons. One, the model is really low poly and working with these small numbers, the sensitivity of the LODs increases a lot. Two, the starting screen space size is zero and any increased percentage of zero is, well, zero. I will work on a solution for this, just like allowing no values under one in the calculated minimum screen space to avoid such errors unless the margin is set to zero. But this is something minor I will work on in the next versions, along with a few other functionalities and features. For now, let's head back to Blender and fix it real quick. Just check the screen space value where the model turns red and increase the value to a an higher number. In this case, just three instead of two was enough. Now let's re-export, rebuild, and see what happens. And voila, problem solved, no stress, and a lot of trial and error less. Now imagine this done on way more than one level of detail and with many different and complicated models. This will save you so much time of fine tuning and stressful XML editing and binge watching numbers on a screen. Thank you for watching and see you next time.